Hi guys, Pet Life Gear with Three Gamer Goggles. Oops, sorry about my chair. And my bald head if you just saw it. Uh, it's time for another box breaking. And I'm super stoked about this one. Uh, it's Drop Fleet Commander. If you have not looked at Drop Fleet Commander or you weren't a part of the Kickstarter, uh, this is your chance to see what this starter, two player starter, has to offer. And, um, I will admit, when this game first kickstarted, I was not looking to get into it. I thought that it was going to be a bummer for me. Um, but apparently this has been better received by everyone than Drop Zone, so I decided I was going to go ahead and do it. Okay, so inside you get the rule book. A Well, let's open this up real quick. You get a, a rule book, and, and like I said, it, it has been better received, so I am not one of those guys who's going to be like, this is my opinion, and I'm just going to live by it because that's what I believe. It's just like, for example, yesterday I played, um, I don't remember the name of the game, Imperium, Star Imperium, anyway, I played a game that I've only heard horror stories about, and yesterday I had a blast. So, here's the core rule book, and we are going to set this aside, and we're going to cover this in another video. Um, inside, you get you get all these little paper thingies, and where are these stickers? Oh, they're paper. Okay, I'm not sure what those are for yet, because I haven't read the rules. Um... I can tell you right now, though, I think I wish they were a little bit thicker. Uh, so here's your two basic fleets. You have the... What oh, doesn't it tell you? You have uh, the two basic fleets that you get here. And then you have a whole bunch... See, I wish the, the paper dials and things were on this material. You have... Uh, I don't know if these are terrain pieces or what yet, but you have those. You have um, like ground inventory and stuff going on. You have different city tokens. Uh, then you have oh your command, your cards, your different cards. Nice. You have instructions for assembling your videos, which everybody knows I don't use those, so those can go away. Um, <laughs> And we have a scenario. There's a lot of stuff in the starter. Then you have a map that I can tell you right now, this is way, way too big for me to put on screen. Um, and you get a, a poster, which I'm not sure I like the poster. The map is pretty bad to the bone though. Uh, we'll move it through here a little bit and uh, this is really, I don't know if this is part one or part two of a map. Uh, I don't know if you get one map or two in here. I didn't look at that before I opened it up, but here's another map. I think you lay them down side by side so that you can play on a 4x4 four four table. I think that's what happens here. But this poster is much better than the other one. It is upside down. But they're in space. It doesn't really matter, right? So, and here is, yeah, I'm pretty sure these go side by side. Um, and here's, here's, I love this part of the map. It's just the sea. I mean, a lake. It's like Erie, but hey. I'm biased. I'm in Ohio. What's going on? Why can't I do this? Alright. That is correct. Ah, that's why. Gotta be careful with those things. And then you get, okay, I'm just gonna pop all this stuff out of here. And I'm gonna set this box aside somewhere else so I can use it. Set my knife aside so I don't cut myself. Put the minis up there. Uh, I think I've showed you guys sprues before, so you know. But anyway, this is a, this is. Oh, look! You get the legendary Hawk War Games tape measure. You get the dice. You get where's the? You get the little thing with bobbies here. We're gonna zoom in. Okay, I'm back. My camera's saying stuff to me that doesn't make any sense. But we'll see. Maybe I'll have, I'll have to film this again. Get rid of that bag. Uh, zoom in a little bit, because I mean, 
Gotta roll the dice. Yeah, I think I'll take that. Let's do it again. One more time. Eh, maybe not. So, so far I'm rolling about 50-50, right? They're average. Get them all there. All right, now the important stuff, right? We're not going to look at every single sprue. We're going to look at the sprues that are different from each other. And wait, that's not very many, I don't think. So, real quick, all these sprues look like they're the same to me. This one's different. So, three of the sprues right here are identical. And we'll, real quick, I'll just demonstrate that to you. That piece follows in, in every one. So we're gonna take a look here, like this. And this sprue is different, so we're gonna look at that one. So right here, so you guys can see the detail of these models, which are absolutely beautiful plastics. Um, we're gonna go around the corner and look at the way they go together, like that's gonna slide right into there. You know, see, so, I mean, you really don't need the instructions. Well, maybe on the Scourge you do. Uh, but, but uh, you know, and then on the other side, you can see some more detail. A nice flat piece. Look how clean that is. It's gorgeous. You don't get that from everywhere. I don't know who they use to do their injection molding. But every miniatures company probably should. And then, we're going to come over here and we're going to look at the other sprue. Again, look at the detail. Uh, you know, gorgeous stuff here. Gorgeous stuff going on. Uh, this, uh, like again, you know, like I said, when the game was on Kickstarter, I wasn't that excited about it. But now, with the reception that everybody in the world has given it, I am super stoked. Especially since they're talking about things like world championships uh, and things of that nature. They've got a special tournament they kind of want to do, which I don't know if they're going to be able to pull off before Gen Con or Origins of next year, but they want to do a, a team tournament, a three-player tournament um, that has some special ramifications to it. Oh, okay. So here, here's the other sprue that was in there. That's the black sprue. I'm guessing this is the counters. You put your paper and stuff in these dials here um, for the different dials, and then these will rotate through. Uh, that's what I'm guessing. And here's your little, don't lose these. These are the little things that snap in there to hold everything together. Step on the side. So, this sprue's in a bag of its own, so I'm guessing it's unique to the, uh, to the, uh, which, which fleet is that? Which fleet is that? UCM. Um, and these are actually the ships that I like more than the other ones. Uh, you can see, let's see here. Uh, they've got the two sides on them. Uh, now, for some of you, from the looks of the way this is going to go together here on the sides and stuff, and how some of that stuff is going to go into the sides, you might want to paint these pieces that go onto the sides first. That's not something I do in my figure forges, so when I do the figure forges on these on these guys, uh, you're going to see that my stuff's going to be unpainted, and you're going to see where I get to make it more difficult. So come back um, in, in a week or two, I hope. Uh, and check out the Figure Forge, which is, Figure Forge is my assembly videos on, on miniature games, or on miniatures. They're basically how-tos on how to assemble stuff, and here we go. We have, uh, the, these next three sprues are identical, so we're only going to, here, we'll zoom out real quick so you can see that they're identical. Um, they're identical, you watch here or here, it doesn't really matter. They're all going to line up the same. And now we'll zoom in and take a look at this one. And the only other sprue is another set of uh, counters. So, again, to look at the detail of the weapons and stuff that's on here, it's really pretty amazing. Uh, and this will make up, this will be basically your three identical ships, or how many bodies are there here? Let's see, there's... Yeah.
each each force has seven ships. So, you know, this one, I don't know, I don't know how many are on here, but I, I like the look. I, again, I like the UCM, so maybe this is going to make me play UCM as a whole. Um, so inside of the... Oh, heck. We'll just do it now. We'll do the flip through, too, so you guys can see the rule book. Because there might be other little goodies in there. Look at this rule book. It's, it's beautiful. Okay, so they did something that I personally am not a fan of um, with books. I don't like landscape books. But, you know, it has a nice matte finish to it. Um, it looks like a blueprint here. This is actually a really nice, nice feel to this cover. You, you, those almost, they have a different feel over the, I actually like the way that does that too. That feels good. It's sexy. Um, it, it has different feel to the letters. Almost like they're, uh, printed decals. I mean, they're not decals because they, they can't, they can't come off, but that's, they kind of have that, that feel to me of like, you know, they're a lot glossier, so they, they feel very different from the soft matte finish. Um, and then inside you got the rule book. Uh, you've got your fluff, of course. And we'll zoom in here, actually, so you guys can see see this. Um, first, I don't know, probably, I'm going to say about 40 pages. I'm wrong. Yeah, no, no, I'm right, I'm right. So the first 30 pages is basically fluff, and then you start getting into the rules. Um, and I don't know how many pages the rules are, but as you can see, there's a good bit of pictures and things of that nature. Uh, here's your here's your your drop fleet bases and how to read them. Uh, here is who is this? What is? I don't know. That looks like a space station to me. Uh, I don't know, the different firing arcs. One thing that Drop Zone or the Hawk War Games guys does very, very well is they give you lots of pictures for understanding their rules. Uh, we're going to zoom out just a little bit so you can see a little bit more as we do this. Uh, so you've got you know large solid objectives, uh, planetary rings, launch assets. So you're launching things to attack things on the surface. Ground combat uh, and. Then there's ship special rules in 65. So you got about so this game's a little bit heavy. There's about 30 pages of rules, and then you're kind of like into this looks to me like it's a glossary section. And then you've got fleet fleet organization. Um, and that's probably gonna be pretty much the rest of the book. Uh, oh no, no, that's not true because they're gonna have scenarios. Um, and these scenarios you can play with a, a lot of different things. And then there's different ways to play, so there's uh, campaigns. They've got a campaign section. That's nice. I don't remember that in the drop fleet um, thing. And they, they've got some nice art, of course. They have the US, US CMS Avenger uh, blueprint, which is pretty sexy. Uh, and then they have the United Colonies of Mankind, the Army, you, 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 the different ships breakdown. Um, and then you get into their actual fleet stuff. So you have all the different uh, ships to assemble. One thing I'm very happy that they did with the plastics is you don't have all those as little individual pieces. That would be so annoying. I know companies that have done that, and it's totally uncalled for. And then, so this, this is going to have everybody. Next, it has the Scourge, right? The two, like, staples. Uh, and you get to flip through here. I want to see. Nice piece of art there. Some painted models. There you go. I can't. Yep, you got the post-human republic. And these might actually be the ships that I want to play. Um, you've got a little look at their ground assets and stuff too. Um, oh, I don't know if I want to play them or not. Let's look at them painted. Anyway, so there's those guys. Perseus, Thessalus, Andromeda. And there you go, there's a painted fleet. That's pretty cool looking actually. Um, and then, then you have the Shaltari, which are going to be crazy looking, right? Yeah, they are. They're crazy looking. Um, and the Shaltari are probably among the hardest to assemble, probably, because I'm sure they got a lot of weird piece configurations like that. That can't be easy to assemble. 
And then we have doo -doo -doo -doo, Painted Fleet. No, that's not going to be that difficult. And that should be it because I'm pretty sure the post human republic will not have a fleet. Now on the back, you got all the little punch outs and things shrunken down that you got in the uh, as the uh, extras in the um, two player starter. So, bam, there you have it inside the two player starter for Drop His Own Commander. I'm just going to grab the box and look at this. This is crazy. You have, oh, look at that, it's white. Oops, that's the wrong way, Matt. That's good. You get all of the miniatures. I'm gonna put it like that. You get all of the Maps, the sequence guide, the cards, the punch outs, the fleet, the cheat, fleet cheat sheets. You get the, uh, these have got to be stickers. Yeah, sticker sheets for Scourge and for the UCM uh, to put onto the dials. What am I missing? You get the dice, you get tape measure, counters, and last but not least, you get the Drop Fleet Commander Core Rulebook. It's a deal. Thanks for watching, guys. Matt Lepke with 3Gamer Goggles, Gamer-Goggles.com, and another box breaking.